Hello kind people of YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today we have reason to celebrate. If you watched my video yesterday, I talked about the very sudden explosion of the Bitcoin price. At that point it had gone up, I believe 14% in just an hour or so following news coming out of China. And there is even more news coming out of China today. Um, very good news that we're going to talk about in a moment. But first, I want to talk just briefly about just how monumental yesterday was. It could very, very, very possibly be enough to launch a long-term bull market if we don't completely crash down. It has gone down a bit, as we can see here now. Bitcoin is now at just about $9,200. But keep in mind, when yesterday began, it was just a bit over 7,000 and people expected it to fall. So here, yeah, this article, let's read this together. We probably won't read the whole thing, but let's read parts of it. Because quite a few records were broken and this is really quite impressive. Bitcoin price hits five week high above $10,000. That doesn't sound that crazy yet, but let's, let's stay with this article for a moment. Bitcoin's price was quoted in five digits across cryptocurrency exchanges earlier today, but the breakout into $10,000 was short lived. Well, duh, as expected, it, it will always crash down a bit. The number one cryptocurrency by market value jumped to $10,350, the highest level since September 24th, according to Bitstamp data. Meanwhile, the global average price, as calculated by Coindesk's index, clocked a high of $10,332. Just 24 hours ago, the cryptocurrency was reeling under bearish pressures below 7,500 and prominent chart analysts were calling a deeper drop courtesy of the so-called death cross, a bearish cross of long-term moving averages. Guys, this is why I tell you to be wary of short-term analysis and prediction. It's, it's like, um, like horoscopes. They are either so vague as to tell you nothing at all or they tell you something that has like a 50-50 chance of coming true. And if they get it wrong on any given day, they'll just try again the next day. It's short-term analysis is pretty much a pseudoscience. Not completely, it's not completely worthless, but stuff like this happens all the time. Short-term analysis does not have a lot of accuracy. Pay attention to what people analyze the general market sentiment in long term, because that's where you can actually tell what is going to happen. Short-term news, one bit of news dropping completely undid anything they were able to tell from analysis. And that is the reality of markets, as well as markets, quite frankly, not always being rational and not always following patterns short term and being too easily manipulated. So don't pay that much attention to short term analysis. Anyway, let's get back to the article. Bitcoin however picked up a bit around 7,500 in the early US trading hours on Friday and rose to 8,800 by 1720. Prices then consolidated in the narrow range of 8.5 to 8.7 for a few hours before printing highs above 10,000. Essentially, the dev cross trapped sellers on the wrong side for the fourth time since 2014. Bitcoin closed at $8,662 on Friday, representing a 16.51% gain on the day. That is the biggest single day rise since April 2nd. And keep in mind, this is this was the evening. It had gone to a much higher price a couple hours later or a couple hours earlier. I'm, I'm not sure because this is in, in American time. <laughs> but um, it actually went way higher. It actually went up by about 40%. It just at the moment where the cutoff for this, uh, for this was, it had only gone up 16.5%. Further, the rise from lows below 7.4 to highs above 10.300 is reportedly the third largest 24-hour price gain in Bitcoin's history. And this is the crazy, crazy thing that we need to talk about. Because look at this uh, here by Yassin Elmanjila. I'm sorry, I probably messed that up. Uh, but here, look at this. This is since 2010. These are the daily price movements, up or down. And here, look at this. We have seen nothing anywhere close to this since 2013. And the last time we've seen something bigger, 2011. Remember what happened in 2011? 
Experts have associated the latest double-digit surge with Chinese President Xi Jinping's comments that the world's second largest economy should accelerate its adoption of the blockchain technology. After all, China was one of the biggest sources of demand for cryptocurrencies during the 2017 bull run. Prominent observers like Anthony Pompliano are of the opinion that the Chinese president's public support of the blockchain technology will force the US and other major nations to embrace the technology, perhaps boosting Bitcoin. Um, I'm not completely sure I agree with him here, but um, that is essentially the perspective that you get to when you desperately, desperately want crypto to do well, which I do as well, but I wouldn't quite go that far yet. Especially the, the US government uh, doesn't always necessarily act in their own best interest or in ways that make a lot of sense and has often treated crypto and uh, blockchain technology not in the most sensible ways. But they have been more open to it than China traditionally. So um, I'm not sure I agree with this analysis there. The investor community, therefore, is expecting the rally to continue. Some observers, however, are worried that the market optimism is premature as China is developing a digital version of its own currency and is unlikely to lift its ban on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. This is essentially what I said yesterday, and I think this is a very important point. Um, the crypto markets reacted quite beautifully to the news that we got yesterday, but I am still very much unsure if that should have been counted as good news. Because what, what I'm going to just say again, China is not looking to support Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP and whatever other cryptocurrencies are currently on the market. That talk, those statements, and pretty much everything that China has done so far has specifically been in support of blockchain technology and how it might be applied. That is not necessarily the same thing as cryptocurrency support, because China, as a very, very authoritarian regime, does not want anything to take off in their country that democratizes, that gives its uh, citizens more power, more privacy. So they're supporting blockchain and they're developing their own cryptocurrency. But those things that they're working on will be very different and almost certainly kind of cut off from the international cryptocurrency market. So this is not necessarily actually good news for Bitcoin. So it's crazy to see Bitcoin go up like 40% as a result. I mean, I'm happy to see this. It just this is not necessarily as good a piece of news as some people think. It remains to be seen whether Xi's comments power further against in Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency is losing altitude at press time. As of writing, BTC is changing hands at 9320 on Bitstamp, and that's a thousand drop, but of course it also it's also still two thousand higher than it was the day before. So here, this is crazy. This is insane. This is the best day that crypto has seen in eight years, or Bitcoin specifically. I don't know if the overall crypto markets have performed best. But this is the best day that, crypt uh, that Bitcoin has seen in over eight years. Over eight years. That is huge. That is cause to celebrate. Like, get out some bottle of wine that you've kept for a while. This might be the beginning of something great. And there is more news coming out of China. And this is... um. Very much in the same vein as Chi's statements yesterday. And once we read the article, we see this This isn't actually new. Not completely. There's just some movement happening on this law. But um, this could be ultimately helpful for cryptocurrency in China. So let's talk about it. The Standing Committee on the 13th Nat National People's Congress in China has passed a new law regulating cryptocurrency, um, uh, cryptography, sorry, not cryptocurrency, on October 26th that will take effect on January 1st. Um, this is, a, this is a law that has been put forward a couple of months ago, by the way. We already knew this was coming, but it has officially been passed now and it will take effect in just a couple of weeks. Per the report, the new regulatory framework aims to set standards for the application of cryptography and the management of passwords. The new regulatory framework establishes the role of a central cryptographic agency meant to lead public cryptographic work, creating guidelines and policies for the industry. This is the kind of the big part. There will be an entire agency created for cryptography. And this, of course, includes cryptography in terms of password protection, cryptography in many of its applications, but it will also cover cryptocurrencies because that is the crypto part in cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology pretty much all uses cryptography. The draw, a draft of the law was published on May 7th by a Chinese news outlet. The text is largely focused on government centralized password management and does not explicitly mention cryptocurrency, though it does focus on cryptography, a key component underpinning cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. This is why it's always important to read the full article and not just the title, because look at the title here. Crypto law. This makes it sound like they 
that they pushed through a law specifically about cryptocurrency. Actually, it's a law about cryptography that will only possibly likely cover cryptocurrency as well as one of many, many things. When explained, the key takeaway is the developing of new cryptography, hashing algorithms, even the usage of the tech will be in the official legal realm. This means you need to follow the CCP standard for all encrypted behaviors, which can be very broad from mining to block propagation. See, this pretty much affects all of cryptocurrency, but it's not necessarily a, a law that is specifically about cryptocurrency. She concluded that the law is building the foundation for the upcoming Chinese national cryptocurrency, though there is no official timetable for its launch, one Chinese official confirmed in September. As Cointelegraph reported yesterday, China's President Xi Jinping has called for the country to accelerate its adoption, blah blah blah, we don't really need the rest of the uh, the rest of this article. Here's this little bit where, where Zuckerberg uh, tried to pretend that Libra could save, uh, could save the rest of the world from Chinese influence, which is um, cute. Um, yeah, but <laughs> this article, this law, this is possibly a step in the direction of um, crypto having a proper legal framework in China. Now, the question remains, will this be used to push crypto down, to hold crypto down? Will this just be used to give them a legal framework for their own cryptocurrency? But will it be used in other ways to take control of as much as possible other cryptos? Will other cryptos remain illegal? I mean, they're not fully illegal, but the trading of them is illegal. All of these questions remain, and this crypto law, this cryptography law that also just happens to cover cryptocurrencies, doesn't necessarily give us answers. But this is a step in the direction of China possibly maybe embracing the overall technology more. But I'm I feel like I feel like I'm always just here to give you guys bad news or to be like, hey, this news isn't as good as you think it is. But unfortunately, we have to be realistic. And um, you can't make good investment decisions based on exaggerated or misrepresented news. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I always have to give you some of that perspective, some of the downsides. And if we look at this, just the cold hard facts, the timing of this makes it look like it's specifically pushed through now to make way for China's own cryptocurrency. That is very much possible. But this law itself is in general about that entire field of, of cryptography, of everything it has to do with that also happens to cover crypto. And this is not China beginning to, to give clear cryptocurrency legislation and to make the way for more cryptocurrencies in the country. Not necessarily, but it is possibly a step in the right direction. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'm so happy to be back, guys. It's I miss this. I really miss this. Even, even if it can sometimes be a bit of a downer. Still, the takeaway of today is Bitcoin had an absolutely spectacular day. And we could very well be seeing the beginning of a beautiful bull market if the market doesn't just completely pull back in the next couple of days. If we don't lose out on these wins that we've made in the last 24 hours, we could be we could be in for something great. And we could all be a lot richer soon. And that's gonna be it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all soon.